Yeah, so we're here. You know, I'm doing today we've been doing a review on the 2015 X6. So you guys can check it out. It's actually one of my favorite cars. It is my favorite car. So we're gonna do a quick review and I'll show you guys how it's set, you know. Alright, so let, let's get started, you know. For uh 20, 20 2015 you can see that it, uh they revise they revised the front fascia and everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean I love the car even when it came out, so I'm definitely gonna have a lot of good stuff to say about this car, so for you guys who are looking for the negative of this car, I don't think I'll be giving you a lot of negative about the car. It's my favorite car, so I'll show you guys one time. The pipes is crazy. You revise the whole thing like this was the most fucking ingenious car, sorry to swear, but the most ingenious car I've ever seen BMW come up with, and I love this car. But let's take a full walk in, let's take a look in the inside so you guys can see. All right. Sorry about that. As you guys can see, we're in the X6. So it's pretty much um the same the same layout as before but it's still uh, a little bit more advanced i mean i love the car regardless you know what i'm saying it's like lamborghinis and stuff like that so i just did a review on lamborghini you guys can check that out too um it's called lamborghini uh gallardo super Leggero toronto so you can also check that out um but yeah back to the x6 man the interior is just beautiful design man let's just check it out take a look you know what i'm saying as you can see the beautiful gauge cluster stuff like that sunroof panel as you can see going around in the car pretty much your same uh, uh shift and stuff like that so you can kind of see where it comes off and you have your your versatile stuff like that like opening and closing of the the lots and stuff and the navigation system you know what i'm saying usually it turns on sometime without it being the car actually being on as you can see it turns on as you can see you can use the i drive select button to control the navigation of the car and how control the, the zoom in and zoom out on the navigation of the car and it, basically it really operates on and off whether the car is on or off and you can actually see that i'm actually here changing the actual display and the channels and stuff like that so if you're going to radio well, you just click the the button it's almost like a mouse pad so it's very easy to operate you know what i'm saying but as you can see the rear inside of the car and um yeah like basically i have to point out a lot of the stuff like a lot of the stuff that that you do see here is um it's pretty much high end you know what i'm saying so a lot of the, the finishing and designs are pretty much uh like very laminated looking with the wood and stuff like that and very 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 unique styling i just love the car period you know what i'm saying we have also for new for 2015 the actual seat the headrest itself like they can actually be controlled um before that option i used to only see that on 7 series now you can actually get that on the x6 so if you look inside the rear back seat and stuff like that you know what i'm saying the only thing about the x6 that i do find is that the rear the rear window is you have very limited visibility and i noticed most x drive x6 drivers will tell you this the rear is very limited with visibility so it's obvious it's it, it, it's it's just like sometimes you really gotta look over your shoulder and check your mirrors or turn on a rear or, or, or a rear view camera or something if you do have an x6 equipped with that but that's pretty much the only thing um the limited rear just the limited rear view it's just sometimes a, a pain in the ass when we're reviewing, but you know, I wouldn't trade it for the X6. I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know what I'm saying? I love the X6 and definitely, um, it's definitely one of my first contenders of cars I would like to buy. So you can obviously see. But as you look here again, it also has the F1 paddle style shifting, which is sort of like the E gear that you would see in Lamborghinis or stuff like that. So as you can see, like you look over here. You know what I'm saying? The turn the sunroof and stuff like that. Also with entry the access, it also turns on the actual system. So as you can see, it says BMW. As you can see when it turns on, very advanced, very unique, very unique setup. The setup turns on as soon as you open the door. So you can basically, you can basically see it as soon as you turn on the car or anything, just like the navigation system or anything like that. You can pretty much go in and like that, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? So it's very, very, very unique setup. Also down there, as you can see, 
we do have like your your universal compartments and stuff like that where there's pretty much nothing in there and you do have a little bit of storage compartments for little things that you do have for your nicks and knacks and stuff opening up uh, the cup holder you, everyone's used to having the, the previous x6 with the, the the split opening cupboard they also have this now so there's not just the split cupboard anymore you actually have an uh, a, a, a vehicle compartment underneath the chat the the in front of your passenger's legs um if you were to take a look over there as you can see over there right there that uh a lot of the there's a lot of compartment space and stuff like that and and whatever and the leather just continues on throughout the car so it's very very well put together um i wouldn't definitely have any too many complaints about the car other than just the rear limit the rear visibility you know what i'm saying but everything can be said if you just had a reverse camera if you have a reverse camera it's perfect you know what i'm saying it's the greatest car to drive I love the car, um, definitely. I'm also a big BMW fan, so like I said, if you guys are looking for me to say anything negative about the car, you're not gonna find it here. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna continue to show you guys the rest of the car. So, let's take a look. Come out, as you can see. Yeah. Also, M steering wheel, but. over here if you take a look take a look at me over here passenger you also have the touch sensor the, the touch sensors on the door now so it's basically you just press that and the lock it'll lock and open as well as uh, soft touch closed doors so as you if you see it it'll close back itself as you can see I'll show you guys again you can see that there you go so if you look in here you look in here you can actually directly see that it's pretty much the same layout as uh the driver's side is just um a little bit more compelled and stuff like that so hey you know just a great car overall man take a look there you can see the m badging and stuff like that right on the door stills memory seating also comes in the passenger side now so you can actually check that out you can actually control that like you know, you got lumbar support and all that. So, you know, take a look in the rear. I'll show you guys how the rear is. I'm about five foot ten, by the way. So, I mean, I'm about five foot ten. So, I don't have any too much problem getting in. It actually feels comfortable in the back seat, just as much as the front seat. So, I don't really have too much complaints getting in there. But we do have like. You know what I'm saying? You have like your armrests and stuff like that. But it's also, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much like the cup holders and stuff like that. They also have cup holders on the door. You know what I'm saying? Where your power windows and most of the power windows are one touch. If you get in the back too, you also have, um, you also have your shade protector. So let's say you're in the back and you want to just uh, get the sun out of your face and stuff like that. You have your shade protector and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? You guys can also check this out. Like you see there over there also it has it on the both sides as well both sides and stuff like that you know it's pretty much the same thing you can also go and check out the trunk as you can see the trunk opening and stuff like that so it's pretty much the same layout and, and as you can see look over here you know what i'm saying and the blue and stuff like that just the wrapping just to keep it off you know what i'm saying and if you take a look over here you can see you get pretty much good space for a car that you know pretty much has um the stuff to it you know so you know all you have to do when you want to close hit the trunk button and watch it close and then yeah that's pretty much all you have to do you have also your gas tank your fuel tank on the right side also well as your shark fin and stuff like that you see it over here that pretty much you know what i'm saying beautiful car trust me if i have that one we trade it for the world so i definitely let you know that from now beautiful car see if I give you guys a quick look at the engine 
So go over here. As you can see over here, twin turbo, you know, you're pretty much getting the same engine that you would get in maybe the later model M5s. So you're still getting a good powerful engine. I believe this is um I believe this is an eight or a six cylinder. Don't quote me on that. Because I'm not sure with the new models. I know a lot of the previous models are some of them are eight cylinders. So but they are six cylinders, so you guys can also find that. That's just the front of the car. As you can see, you have emissions and stuff like that. Everything is brand new. It's perfect. As you can see, the pretty much big engine everywhere. Everything is chrome. The lights with the lasers and stuff like that. So, show you guys one more. Look at the car. Go around. And by the way, you also have, um, you also have uh, the actual, if you look right here, this right here is actually um, what you do when you want to see the actual speed on the windshield. There's a button that you press and you can actually see the speed on the windshield turn on. So you can actually show you right on the windshield and stuff like that. So I'll give you guys one more quick look on the inside. And you can see how it is pretty much. What you see in there, it's just pretty much beautiful layout I love the car man trust me you see maybe one more driver's side view yep I told you you're not gonna really get too much of a battery view I love the X6 and Lambo so I'll definitely give you guys one more oh, in the car yep that's us in um, the brand new X6. That's me in the brand new X6, just checking it out. Uh, definitely on the purchase. Um, but just got to show, do my show my review so you guys can see how it is. But you also have uh, your parking brake. So very easy to control. It's just your button that you just press down and up when you want to operate stuff like that you also have your heated seats your extended bolsters i forgot to say this earlier so you guys can get to see that right there as well as the navigation system i'll show you guys a quick more rundown before because i didn't really show it uh too good the first time so i'll give you guys a better view some multimedia you do have your cd and your dvd i don't know if you can see that music collection um you can also store things on your usb and stuff like that and actually store it to the system you know, as well as um, having it on your iPod. You know, some people have it just in their iPod where they don't, they just connect their iPod right to the system and then they just use it like that. But as you can see, you can just store it to the car on the external drives and devices and stuff like that. As you can see, it says external device. But going back, you can also see that you have um, your telephone options. Now this is your Bluetooth option where you can actually control like the Bluetooth and stuff like that. You can also have your key, uh, not your key, um, your phone attached to the vehicle. So you're able to set up a contact or anything like that. And here's your contact. So if you do want to save it to the car. So, and that, and yes, one thing I, did, I forgot to mention is that it's also sequential shift down here and also on the steering wheel. So the paddle shift steering wheel is not just, um, it's not just up here. Like you can actually control the shift from down here, the sequential shift and stuff like that you know so it's definitely uh definitely my choice of car show you the windshield light up again as you can see it alerts you for it alerts you if any of the doors are open or anything so you know right away and now it's all digital as you can actually see i'm touching this and there is no actual needle it's just a digital gauge and it looks so cool i'm not even gonna lie it looks so greasy like if you were to actually look at it actually look at it from like from where i'm looking at it it looks nice man i'm telling you you know what I'm saying you also have your lumbar support and everything on this side of the seat and stuff like that. So you can um 
yeah man you could pretty much you could pretty much do anything man it's cool man it's really 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 cool man but that's my x6 review and um definitely gonna purchase it and i'll uh, definitely keep you guys more keep you guys updated with more reviews that i do on other cars thanks for checking out my x6 review you guys don't know